For the people that may not uh, know your music yet or may just know you as a group of AI members, um, can you introduce uh, yourselves and maybe give those fans a reason why they should choose you as the bias of the group? Hello, I'm Damon and I am the leader of Superkind. 안녕하세요. 저는 슈퍼카인드에서 메인 댄서로 맡고 있는 막내 JDB라고 합니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 슈퍼카인드에서 서브 래퍼로 맡고 있는 유진이라고 합니다. 그리고 저는 귀여움을 담당하고 있기 때문에 꼭 기억하세요. Hi, I'm Xiu. I'm the vocalist of the Superkind. Superkind, we are trying to uh, uh, combine two dimensions, which is 3D and 2D. And um, we are trying to collaborate with NUC members, which is virtual members. And with them, we are trying a many um, concepts such as sci-fi, mysterious you know, school story, and battle royals. And we are trying to keep challenging those unique genres. So I think that will be our charming charming. So you just released your first mini album after a couple of singles. Um, so how was having more tracks to prepare this time? 사실은 어, 전에도 계속해서 노래를 냈었지만 이번에 처음으로 뭔가 네 곡이나 있는 미니 앨범이기도 하고 실물 앨범이 나오는 첫 앨범이기도 해요. 그렇다 보니까 각자 멤버들이 좀 기대하는 것도 컸고 그만큼 부담감도 되게 컸던 것 같아요. 그래도 이 전에 두 번이나 한번 앨범 준비를 했었기 때문에 그래도 이제 세 번째이다 보니까. 어느 정도 멤버들도 약간 그동안 경험도 있고 하다 보니까 그나마 좀덜 힘들게 앨범 작업을 할수 있었던 것 같고 어 그래도 이번에는 앨범이 담고 있는 언어도 다양하고 하다 보니까 어떻게 하면 우리가 이런 언어들을 잘 표현할까에 대한 고민도 많이 했던 것 같아요. 그리고 처음으로 앨범을 이렇게 플레이어 분들과 대중분들에게 완전 제 7인으로 보여드리게 됐다 보니까 어좀 확실하게 인상을 남겨야겠다라는 생각을 많이 했던 것 같습니다. Tell me about the album and the tracks. Is there a story that new fans should be aware of? Uh, in the album, there's a song named Speed, which is a 2D song. It represents a 2D members, new members. There's Beam Me Up, which is 3D songs represent print members. And we mashed it up those two songs as a one single track. And that is our title track, Beam Me Up uh, 2D X 3D version. And that means that we have a different two uh, members Nuke and Preed, but we're also trying to collaborate and, and assemble those two dimensions, different members. So we put that our whole theme, like whole motto in this album, single album. And also there's a one track named Moksha, which is we have promoted on TikTok and choose the, the track with players, which is our fans. And uh, we have those four tracks in one album. That will be the story of this album. Uh, in the future, do you hope to do a full album? And if so, is there anything you want to show on that full album? Like any different genres or do you want to produce or write any of those songs? We would really like to uh, show many different concepts with uh, human members and AI members. It, w it could be a battle or it could be a harmony collaborating, but also but we really want to keep doing these things with Nuke members and show you, show you guys, show players many, many concepts. And also, um, oh, many members are talented in their own, so, own ways, like um, choreography, like writing lyrics, and I'm also uh, composing music. So I hope we can um, participate in the album as a B-side or even when we uh, improve ourselves even on the title tracks. So I hope many players would stay tuned for us next step. Who are uh, some of your musical inspirations that you've really looked up to? 현재로서는 저희가 같이 함께 활동하고 있는 플레이브 분들이 있는데요. 어, 저희도 지금 곧 저희 각자 멤버들의 2D 캐릭터를 만들어서 온라인 속에 저희가 직접 들어가 버추얼로 활동을 할 계획이에요. 그렇기 때문에 뭔가 같은 분야에서 어, 되게 왕성하게 활동을 하고 계시는 플레이브 분들이 저희 지금 현재로서 롤모델이라고 말씀드릴 수 있을 것 같습니다. It's been a little over a year since your debut, and so what are some of the biggest lessons that you've learned in that time? As a leader, um, our members have a very unique personalities and abilities, and also we have a unique members such as Nuke members, as you know, they're really unique. And the thing is, I really, all of the members, and especially me, try hard be synchronized as a team, but um, that is not the thing. The thing that I learned is that the most important thing is be make a harmony and be like make a great chemistry and try to um, strengthen their own like uh, unique 
abilities into a one good team. So um, I learned a, a team, uh, I mean, um, uh, I, can, I think it's for me very good lesson is that uh, we have to improve as a team, but not as a one single synchronized artist. Uh, one of the biggest questions that fans wanted to know when I said that I was interviewing you was how is learning the choreography with, with the seven members, but two that are not physically there? Um, is it as simple as just, you know, learning it with us, uh, with spaces or what is that, that process like? Uh, 누크 친구들이 연습할 땐 저희 자리를 비워두고 연습을 하고 있는데 이제 아무래도 촬영 그 당일날에는 이제 저희가 누크 친구들과 어 함께 할수 없어가지고 따로 저희의 영상을 담고 누크 친구들 또 영상을 담아서 이렇게 합체하는 그런 작업이 필요합니다. 그리고 또한 어 이제 누크 친구들이 아무래도 저희 누크 친구들을 저희가 가려버리면은 약간의 어좀더 시간이 많이 걸리고 그런 제약들이 아무래도 있기 때문에 그런 것도 피하면서 동선을 이동하는 경우가 있어가지고 그런 점에선 조금 음 어렵다고 생각할 수 있다고 생각이 들고요. 그리고 하지만 이번에 빈미아홀 활동을 하면서 누크 친구들과 호한 호흡으로 이렇게 시간차 동 안무랄까요 그런 것들을 맞췄던 맞췄어서 이번에 되게 재밌게 활동했던 것 같습니다. So what were your first thoughts when you heard about the AI part of the group? Um, were you con uh, confused about that or were you already aware of what was going on before you uh, went into the company? Our company is based on tech before starting AI idol industry. And we already know that we are going to debut with virtual members. So every member's already aware that we are going to be a, a idol. But um, for me, actually, I'm really interested in animations and also like virtual like characters. And um, especially I really like Gorillaz, which is virtual band. And I was a big fan of them. And I was, I was thinking, how about me being one of those kind of in our band and group? So I was so excited when I hear that we are going to debut with virtual members. And there is some um, disadvantages and homeworks that we have to solve out, problems that we have to solve out. But also I'm having really fun improving those, solving those problems as well. What are the advantages of, of this, this concept of yours? What I've learned is that you have a very dedicated fan base and a lot of them will talk about some of the fan calls that you've done with them. Like some of them will, you know, dress up in costumes that, that you've worn and stuff like that. Um, so what is your favorite part about getting to, uh, to see the fans up close like that? We are communicating with our fans players on Discord and we do communicate really a lot and also they are really involved with our projects, like our team. And that's because, that's the reason why we call them players because they are actually the players who play game called Super Kind. So um, I'm so proud that they are involved in our project and also they give us a many ideas and you know, suggestions to our like um, project. So I'm so glad and also so thankful for them um, participating uh, well um, for our team. When you were trainees, uh, when you were about to debut, were there any goals that you had set for yourselves as a group? And um, you know, if there were, you know, what were those goals that you set? <laughs> 제가 계속 좌우명처럼 계속 하는 얘기가 있는데요. 어, 음악을 통해서 사람들의 마음을 치유하고 감동시키는 일이 정말 멋있다고 생각해서 꼭 이루고 싶은 바람입니다. Are there any concepts that you've been really looking forward to trying in the future? One that may be able to fit with um, the storyline and the concept later on? 저희가 사실은 어, 이 앞전도 그렇고 지금 컨셉도 그렇고 좀 많이 SF나 판타지적인 장르를 많이 봤었어요. 
어, 어쨌든 뭔가 좀더 미래지향적이고 AI 친구들과 함께 음악을 하려다 보니까 어, 어쨌든 뭔가 표현력 측면에서 전달이 훨씬 잘될수 있는 그런 장르의 음악들을 많이 했었는데요. 어, 저는 개인적으로 되게 뭔가 그런 드라마적인 요소도 좋아하기 때문에 좀더 현실적인 그런 컨셉으로 어, 플레이어 분들과 함께 좀 그렇게 이야기를 나, 꾸면 아마 재밌지 않을까라는 생각을 해서 어, 다음 앨범은 아니겠지만 <웃음> 한번 좀 어, 그런 드라마적인 컨셉도 한번 해보고 싶습니다. There are a lot of groups going on tour right now. So uh, my favorite question to ask uh, newer groups is, if you were going to plan your world tour, what are the stops that you think you have to make? Um, first of all, we are uh, doing a project named Super Kind of Go, which is a, a TikTok uh, fan base Olympic, which is um, players can upload their uh, TikTok videos with our music and then they can get a medal by its view. And um, the, most, the winner, we go to their city and their country to make music and meet their fans and their languages. And that's how we're going to uh, visit our foreign players. And also in the future, we are trying to uh, make a technique that we can live performance with new members. So um, we want to do a world tour concerts with all members together. Do you have a message to your fans, the ones that have been there since the beginning, and then the ones that you may be getting with this album? 사실은 저희가 이번 활동을 통해서 거의 처음으로 좀 활동들을 많이 하게 되었는데요. 어, 저희가 사실 작년에는 오프라인 활동을 많이 하지 못했었어요. 근데 올해부터 오프라인 활동을 통해서 플레이어 분들 만나는 시간이 되게 많아졌었는데요. 그러면서 느꼈던 게 되게 오프라인을 통해서 저희도 에너지를 많이 얻고 플레이어 분들 만나면서 되게 좋은 영향을 서로 주고받고 있는 것 같다는 생각을 많이 했었어요. 그래서 앞으로 더전 세계에 있는 플레이어 분들에게 그런 뭔가 오프라인 만남을 가지려고 노력할 테니까 더 기대도 많이 해주시고 많이 기다려주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그리고 마지막으로 저희 이번 컴백 유미연 많이 사랑해주시고요. 앞으로도 슈퍼카이니까 많이 사랑해주세요. Wow. Uh -huh.